I can save your life right now. And what I have here, yes, that's right. That's the omnidirectional mic by Arc 2 pointing up to the ceiling. One of my listening positions relatively close to the monitor. Arc 2 has just arrived here at the studio. Uh, and what sounds like a sequel to the Arc with Russell Crowe is actually the sequel to Arc by K Multimedia, which is um, they had a, a room correction system out that was called ARC ARC, and now this is ARC2 ARC2. Um, and we're doing a quick unboxing of this first. Not just an unboxing, but obviously a full review. And let's take it out. Here it is. Um, so what comes in the box? What is in the box? So in the box, uh, I'm gonna grab the box. This is a little bit of a handheld operation here. Handhelds. I'm trying not to shake too much. And there seems to be a DVD in there. Um, software and serial number inside. So it's so very cool. Obviously, they're taking their um, policy very seriously. A CD slash whatever DVD. And on the back side of this, I'm going to show you that is the authorization. Um, I'll probably still download uh, the software, and it says Mac or PC. All right. Um, so quickly, there's a nice little box here. And the reason why I bought this version here compared to um, others is that you can still use this microphone here um, as a regular microphone, which is going to have a neutral characteristic, so maybe a drums overhead or something like that for a snare some guitars perhaps so I'm getting extra use out of it um, here is the, um, the the wind filter the wind filter and here is the microphone um, stand, uh, the microphone clamp which you will need if you mount this onto a microphone uh, stand or boom something like that pretty cool feels nice and heavy solid construction I like to see that I like seeing that and uh, what we have to do now is um, hook this baby up, install the software, and run some tests. All right, guys, so we're coming at you here with some better audio quality. Now, um, yeah, that's what I've been reading. <laughs> it's awesome. How does that tie into uh, with music? I don't know. I have no idea. But Guardians of the Galaxy, the music soundtrack is just so awesome. So I guess it's all playing in the same universe. I came out from India. Oh, blasting somebody. So here's the ARC system too, so we're talking about advanced, I'm going to blow this up a little bit for you, we're talking about advanced room correction system. The ARC system too, advanced room correction, is the sequel of the first and only acoustic correction system It combines a measurement microphone, measurement software and a correction plugin to improve the sound rel reliability and acoustics of your studio in an elegant, low-cost, portable solution. And they're showing us an iMac. Very portable. <laughs> Just kidding. Probably mean you put it on an iPad, um, on, an I on a MacBook Pro, on a tablet. By the way, that was a blooper, but uh, why not putting this as an, uh, releasing this as an app uh, for an iPhone, an iPad, an Android device? That would be really great. Um, cool. So it gives you some information here why you would even need it. But um, if we go over to the studio, there are some panels there. But, um, you know, the, the room uh, dimensions are a little bit too long compared to the width. Uh, there's going to be some frequency issues that build up from that and so forth. Um, it's always good to get like a proper uh, measured signal, a proper measured uh, sound and then know what you're listening to and then also work with a target curve. What we first need to do is we need to install the software. That's what it's all about. So where do we find that? Right, so we're going to run the authorization manager is first. Uh, like I said, I have it on the in the DVD. I'm not going to put the DVD in because some of you guys won't have a DVD or CD player in their computers. So I'm gonna, just going to go for the Mac side here and um, So you quickly install that. 
So what is the authorization manager? It is a standalone application that is used to authorize your IK multimedia products, sort of like these, like sort of like the service center with native native instruments machine. Uh, and it will be included in every product. So anything that they release now runs through the authorization manager. I can live with that. And what I have here, yes, that's right. That's the omnidirectional mic by Arc 2 pointing up to the ceiling from one of my listening positions relatively close to the monitor. And what it does, it sends a few, when you set this up, you're supposed to measure at least seven positions in the room. So I would start with one here, then I would, and I would take two measurements. Uh, that's still classed as one measurement. It'll send, send two signals to each of the speakers. Whoop, 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 super annoying. Make sure you don't do that at night. It'll freak the whole neighborhood out. And then you'll move it a little bit to the right. Um, you move the whole thing and then you move it a little bit to the left. So you'll get two more measurements like that. And then you move the whole thing a little bit further back um, and sort of like in a symmetrical pattern. And then perhaps where I was sitting back there on the so-called client or chill couch. And what that does when it's done, when all this measuring is done, it will give you a corrected curve, right? So my studio is somewhat asymmetrical to the left and to the right. There is a door. There's nothing I could do about it. There's a very thick wall and there is some sound treatment behind it. Um, there is a curtain on purpose, but sometimes that cur cur curtain is open because I don't like working in the dark. And obviously every time you have a window, that is a problem with reflection. And there's some room treatment, not perfect, um, but um, the, the ceilings luckily are slanted, so they're not straight and they have a surface to them so it's there's very little reverberation so the room for a project studio um, is not bad but it's not my favorite room to mix in or to work in it's something i like um, it's not my favorite uh, sound it's a sound i can work with and i started with it and uh, made some improvements over time by moving things around but it wasn't planned um, as a studio and build up from the ground. Now entering ARC 2, um, this is a good solution, a good uh, help to improve on some of the frequencies. Obviously installing bass traps, proper sound treatment, properly placing um, your desk within the dimensions of the room, that's always good. Not backing into close to the wall, but some people don't have uh, that luxury and then also things change you put things in the room you bring you know five big i don't know bass guitars that you put up against the wall and your sound um your sonic uh your sonic uh image changes instantly so um or parts of it so the curves that i, I came up with after measuring and i labeled this project studio closed to flat. So I'm working sometimes with the door closed, with all the curtains closed. It's a much more uh, flat response curve. And then I sometimes work with the door open and with the window partially open. Sometimes, obviously, I'm not going to master like that, but it's a more pleasurable, yet not perfect work environment. And that's you know contributes to success as well if you have a good time doing it versus being like in a complete perfect hospital like environment so this is one of the positions that i started and um here we go i'm gonna let you in now i'm gonna go a little bit closer to uh, the screen here and um switch to screen record mode and show you how this works that's how this works you go to the master channel and all this happens after your limiter and your mastering tools. That's where the ARC 2 comes in. And there's an on and there is an off switch. We can activate the room correction. That's the big button right there. And there's a dim switch also, uh, where you can just you know dim the monitoring. Now looking at the curves here, I selected a project studio, um, open project studio. I have other curves, uh, Project Studio closed with my windows closed, and to a flat curve. So it's going to compensate that to a flat curve. And I'm going to show you that uh, based on my friend 
Flows, one of the brothers, or Wild Cowboys, he calls himself track here, called Wake Up. Um, obviously, that track is already mixed and mastered, so the EQ the doesn't really need anything. Well, just to demonstrate the functionality of everything. Can have In the monitoring section, you can listen to it in mono or stereo. And there is a trim button that lets you adjust the corrected signal to the uncorrected signal. Now, all this is for monitoring, mind you, not for mastering, because it gives you better mixing results, better monitoring results, so that the end product sounds better. Remember, it's just correct your room, your listening environment. There's a pre-meter, and you can look at the meter in post. And you can adjust to different curves, obviously. It doesn't always have to be a flat curve. Um, there are some other curves, for example, like desktop speakers and cars. You can simulate how your system would sound as desktop speakers. The yellow, the orange line is always before and target is the green line. Kind of wonky line here. And then the white line is afterwards. So it's gotten corrected. And you can hear that. This gives you an idea. Most of the time you want to keep it flat though. You want to adjust your room to sound as flat as possible, as linear is the way. Flat has like a negative connotation to it. There's a couple of other presets like high frequency roll off with a, with a slight dip and high frequency range. Now one of the things is you have to keep in mind that as correction is made, your monitoring, your master bus could uh, clip. In the monitoring situation, it's usually not a big issue. It takes a lot to make it clip. Um, you know, a couple of dB are fine. Obviously, you won't bounce with it, so it'll go back to regular regular levels. Um, got, um, the dim, again, the dim switch can be adjusted how much dimming you want. Um, just a final note here. Uh, remember, um, you what I just played for you on and off, I have to switch the plug-in on and off. You really can't hear the difference what's better or worse. The only way to really tell if it's better or worse is like me mixing with Arc 2 making my sonic uh, choices based on, okay, I'm really hearing what I'm supposed to be hearing, and that should produce a better result. Doing that on an already uh, mastered, already you know finished product really um, does not make sense, other than training your ear to basically hear better um, what's going on in your studio. So I would probably use that on an iTunes or YouTube or anything that's like a mastered uh, piece of work and try to listen through ARC 2 on it. That way you get, your ears are going to adjust to what, you know, a flat uh, sound is in the room you're working in. And IK Multimedia is pretty adamant about that, saying like, hey, don't switch back and forth all the time. Allow your ears to adjust to the new curve. It's not going to sound natural right away. Uh, one um, little issue with software or plugin-based room corrections is that it's a little bit hard to put that on your entire system. iTunes, for example, doesn't allow any plugins. I'm not sure about Media Player and such. Um, AU plugins or VST plugins. Um, if they do, they'll be great. Otherwise, you have to go through some workarounds like Soundflower and AU Lab so that everything that's being played back on your audio system goes through that treatment. Everything that comes out of your audio speakers sounds like it's supposed to sound, meaning no amplified bass, no cuts around 100 hertz, no dip or boost in the middle or any wonkiness going on. That's exactly what ARC 2 is there for. It puts your system, your little system or big system, wherever, if you're on a big show, big studio, that's fine. It gives you, it corrects to an extent uh, the timing and the frequency of your sound to make it correct. With that, I'm going to go to work over the next few weeks with the ARC 2, and hopefully I'll come up with some better results. This can be uh, the missing link. All right, thanks a lot. Please like and subscribe. Take care.